Welcome to Season 2, Episode 1 of Plane Savers! Everybody, we're back! Uh, isn't that exciting? Uh, it's not a very good day here in Yellowknife, uh, but it is a great day. Today is Episode 1 of Season 2. If you haven't seen Episode 0, uh, go back, check that out. We uh, reveal what it is that we're going to be restoring this year on Episode 2. But for episode one, uh, I want to go old school, back to DTD, the DC-3 that we restored um, and saved. And uh, you guys have been looking for some more content around that. Uh, we did fly to Oshkosh as uh, the old episode zero of season one, uh, the promise of bring it down to Oshkosh uh, was fulfilled. And uh, I like to go a part of that journey and see you guys what it's like traveling with the DC-3 and uh, and the reception that we got in Oshkosh, the whole nine yards. So I'll see you when you get back, but uh, let's head off uh, set, Let's head off to Thunder Bay, Ontario, uh, where DTD is parked. Beautiful Thunder Bay, Ontario, folks. Uh, we gotta make sure the mic, everything's working because we got a big trip coming up. Whew. If you guys haven't been following along, uh, we got this airplane serviceable in 56 days in the Montreal St. Hubert Airport and now we're on our way to Oshkosh Air Venture 2019, the biggest air show in the world, the best air show in the world. And uh, I promised everybody to bring DTD along uh, to share it with everybody. Stella is already down there. Jay has done a, a few episodes of plane sitting. This is episode six of plane sitting and we're doing the handoff. <laughs> Well, thank you. Thank you to I Jay. Had, I had to get a roll of toilet paper for the tears. <laughs> thank you to Jay and Dusty and Thunder Bay Aviation at the Thunder Bay Airport who waived uh, some of the landing fees. Huge thank you to everybody here. Uh, it's been amazing. We got a little bit of a crowd showing up. Hey, guys. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're getting there going. Uh, Copilot Larry Buckmaster from uh, Hay River, a Hay River guy, flown with my father, and he flew DC-3s with my father a long time ago. Uh, he's our co-pilot. We'll, 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 we'll meet Larry later on. They're busy. You see Joe up there doing his thing. But uh, let's jump in the airplane and uh, head off to Oshkosh. Oh, Dusty. She's gone. She's gone, ready to go. Some tears come to the eyes. <laughs> Might have to use, move to Yellowknife, just not tell my girlfriend yet. <laughs> right on. All right, I'm gonna jump in here. Oh, Jay's in there. Stow away. Okay. Ready? Ready. So you guys go. Thanks, guys. Take yeah. care. See you in the next one. <laughs> So as you can imagine, I was pretty excited to go for my first flight with DTD. It's been a long trip, uh, but uh, I just happened to see on the left-hand engine out the window this smoke coming out from the the side of it. And you know, I've rode on DC threes thousands of times, and I knew this wasn't normal. This could be a cylinder oil leak or something major. So we decided to turn around. Well, we're actually back on the ground, folks. Dusty's up there. Uh, right when we're about to take off, uh, I noticed some white billowy smoke coming out. Uh, it looks like we have a rocker cover right there. But well, luckily we have the pit crew here. Cowling's off, boom, boom, boom. Uh, update our ETA. Uh, this is probably gonna delay us about an hour, but uh, or maybe 45 minutes, but we'll see. Cowlings are back on, rocker cover gasket. Looking like that little bit right there was causing oil to come out hit the exhaust and then smoke over where I could see it. So Dusty and Jay, the pit crew, saving the day one last time.
Speaking of DC-3s, one is at the center of a lot of buzz here at Oshkosh. Mikey McBrien of the Plane Savers Project shows off his newly restored airplane. The restoration is the subject of a wildly popular YouTube series. Our cameras caught up with the reality star to see what people thought of the restored Goonie Bird registration CFDTD. Uh, you know what, being here with DTD at Oshkosh is amazing. This is the center of the universe when it comes to aircraft. I've been watching the videos on YouTube and stuff and it's it's, it's pretty neat, surreal to yeah. actually be in the plane and it's all the way down here in Wisconsin. So. Yeah, it's, I think it's really neat. It's like really big and the, you can hold a lot of stuff. A year ago this one was just sitting all busted up and rot, rusting out and stuff up in Canada. Guy from Tokyo, uh, a little kid from California, uh, and just countless people from all over the continental U.S. and Canada that came here uh, to look at the airplane. That means the world to me. It's awesome. Best, best plane ever. Well, I got the tattoo. <laughs> you got the tattoo? Goodness, that's amazing. So tell me what you think, just being able to come in and this, check. This is my first time in a DC-3. It's amazing, super cool. I've watched all of it, like this is the coolest thing ever, for real. <laughs> a little bit like fangirl right now. <laughs> so I was here at Oshkosh last year in 2018 and I didn't even know this aircraft existed back then. So here a year forward, uh, the whole evolution of the project's been amazing. Uh, being able to share everything. Uh, and you know what, I have to do a season two uh, because just the amount of love and support we get. So August 1st, mark your calendars, August 1st, I'll be announcing uh, season two and uh, what aircraft we're gonna be saving next. You can see the restoration on YouTube. Just search for Plane Savers. Really great to see uh, millennials getting excited about aviation and, and really getting committed. It is. We've seen them around the, the, the tent here and Mikey was here holding court with them. <laughs> he, he was. When we come back, some of the weird stuff we've seen here at AirVenture. Well, folks, I have to apologize. <laughs> the air show's over. Yes, this is our last day. It is actually, what did it say, Friday? We're leaving tomorrow. So <laughs> I just want to thank everybody. Um, I, I took a break. I put the left the GoPro, left the phone. I didn't do much. Uh, a lot of people have been filming everywhere. Uh, a lot of awesome videos all over the internet. Check those out. But the one thing I wanted to do as a thank you is I got to see thousands and thousands of people uh, seeing DTD here uh, and Miss Montana and all the other DC-3s, everybody. I want to say thank you to the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people I got to see. Uh, you guys are all rock stars. Huge thank you to Stella, my father, and Larry Buckmaster. Uh, you guys were all rock stars. Everybody was good. Huge thank you. <laughs> I can't say enough. But I can't leave you with no content. Uh, even though the show's over and we're going home, I just want to uh, make a little montage to show you some of the fun we had while the GoPro was off. So watch this.
So folks, that's kind of like a part one of Oshkosh. Uh, there's still the going home. Uh, I got a bunch of footage of us coming home. Uh, and then I can explain on the next episode uh, how, many, how much hours we put on the airplane, what kind of snags we had on it, and that kind of fun stuff. So look forward to that. Next episode, uh, oh, we got a C-46 enhancing some audio. Check this out. There we go. That's the beauty of being back, folks. So happy episode one. So if you haven't, well, hopefully you've seen episode zero. We're doing a Fokker DR-1 triplane. Um, I've been learning lots about the aircraft. Honestly, I don't know too much uh, about it, but we're going to be learning together. This is exciting. I can't believe it, man. The support from the plane savers community with this aircraft is being absolutely outstanding. I can't thank everybody. This is going to be great. I can't wait. Season two is going to be epic. We got, I got so many surprises, but we still got to finish DTD story and uh, let's go do that in the next episode. So I'll be seeing you very, very soon uh, and you be safe out there. And I can't wait to get started on that Fokker. Should be a couple more weeks, but uh, we should be giving her and I can't wait. Chopper call. So Chopper, what was it like? Oshkosh? Yeah. It's fucking incredible. I swear! Oh, sorry. There's kids. Sorry. Why do you think you've never been on Plane Savers? <laughs> it's bloody you incredible. You ruined it. You ruined it. <laughs>